This is our bone, huh? Huh? Money long, money long, who be gone? Drink it, humble, strong, drink Money long, my money long, I'll put me gone, go, rest in beat, tone, hold it, trap it on the seat, nigga, wait on the Good morning, every motherfucking body. What's up, man? It's your boy Mark A. And if you read the title, then you know what I'm about to do. I'm about to do, I still got that morning voice, oh my god, I think, I hear it, I don't know, but I'm about to do the morning routine, and um, it's already like 10 o'clock or whatever, so my morning kind of already started, I'm used to waking up really early, I wake up like around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock every day, whatever, because of my work schedule for so long, that it's just a habit now, so my day has already been started for about an hour and a half now. But um, I kind of I kind of just got home. I was looking on YouTube and things like that, and I was looking up other people. I was looking up morning routines, and it's funny because like everybody's morning routines all start the exact same way. They all are in their bed. They're all posed up, you know, like the perfect like little models, whatever for the morning time. It's like that's not realistic, you know. It's like. You wake up all nice and cute. Ah, you know, you sucking your thumb. You know, or you got your little cover all put up, whatever. Your hair is already done. Your makeup's already done if you're a girl, whatever. Um, it's guys too, I guess, whatever. You know, but I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm always real with y'all. So I'm going to show you legit my fucking morning routine. Minus the wake up part because I already woke up. So um, let's just imagine. This is my couch, by the way. This is not a bed, obviously. But let's just imagine that you already saw me wake up. Wait, okay, maybe I'm cheating. Maybe you guys want to see me wake up. Okay, so, hold on. Good morning, world. Okay. Okay, so obviously the first thing that I do in the morning is brush your teeth, right? So... I got my, my toothpaste, you know, Colgate, you know, cavity protection, extra whitening, you know, no promo, whatever. It's just what I use and shit. And a lot of people sometimes like people like wet their toothbrushes first and then put toothpaste on top of it. But I put toothpaste on first and then I wet it. I don't know. That's just what I do. Shit. So this is me brushing my teeth. The first thing I do in the morning. Mm-hmm. Here's something I think is really good to mention is that I'm 24 years old. I'm almost 25 in like a month and a half. Guess what though? I've never in my life had a cavity. Ever. <laughs> Do adults get cavities? Or is that, or is that like a little, is that like a kid thing? Hmm? I don't know. I think adults can get cavities, right? Because. I, mean, I know kids. Is that like a chicken pox thing? Where like only kids get chicken pox? So you know, adults don't really? Because like I've only ever heard of kids getting cavities, never adults. You know, make sure you get your tongue. And because tongues do nasty things. Guess what? Now it's time for breakfast. You know, you gotta eat breakfast in the mornings, right? Remember when I said that uh, Saturdays are my favorite days? Well, that's because Saturdays are dedicated to me. Relieving all of my relieving all of my stress, and it gives me a few hours to um, forget about all of the headaches and worries and stress of being a dot, being an adult. You know my daily headaches and shit like bills and work and trying to find some plays and trying to find you know my own and all that good stuff. So. Saturdays are dedicated to me acting like none of that stuff exists anymore. And I'm legit just being like a big ass kid. I love being a big kid on Saturdays. So what I do when I act like a big kid is I eat my favorite breakfast, which is my favorite cookies. Or else, no, like legit, like I'm legit about to just sit here and eat my Oreos for breakfast because that's what I did as a kid. Not always, but sometimes. And not only am I about to eat my Oreos, but, I mean, 
But I am about to watch Saturday morning cartoons. Hmm? So right now I'm just chilling and I am watching Recess. You know, Recess. But um, along with watching Recess, I'm about to play Smash Brothers. Saturday morning cartoons, Saturday morning video games. Shit, it's going, bro. I don't play all the video games. I don't. But I will whoop anybody's ass in Smash Brothers, bro. Like, for real. If any one of y'all still play Smash Brothers, let me know. Because I'm going to whoop y'all ass. For real. All I need to do is play with my custom Kirby. I'm, a, I'm, like, I'm like a dog with Kirby, bro. Give me Kirby, and I'm going to fuck anybody's ass, bro. Oop. I'm going to beat anybody's ass, bro. Like, <laughs> I can't be beat as Kirby, man. I can't. I can't lose when I'm Kirby, man. I can't lose. All right, so the morning's almost over. I got to go to work soon. So I have my Oreos. You know, I have my milk. I play my little video game. I watch some Saturday morning cartoons, not just Recess and Yu-Gi-Oh. I watch a lot. I watch the Wild Thornberries. I watch a little bit of Rugrats. I watch a little bit of Kids Next Door. I watch a lot of little Saturday morning cartoons and stuff. So... Now I gotta do a little thing, you know, now I gotta uh, work out a little bit, you know, cause I still need my athlete's booty. Still working on it. So let me do my little butt exercises real quick. Yo, I remember how it go, you know. Do a few of these, each side. You know, you gotta squeeze when you get to the top, you know. Can you see it? Can you see it? <sighs> Okay, y'all, so I just got back home. I just got done running. It's really hot out here, so I had to cut it really short. I said I was gonna run like three laps around the neighborhood. I did like, I think like two or something. It's really hot, I'm really sweaty right now. Um, I did not expect it to be this hot this early, but yeah, I'm back home. So I'm about to get my Beyonce plans, you know, my Beyonce, my Tiana Taylor, you know, my Drake, you know, but mainly my Beyonce, that's what I need, I mean, y'all know, y'all know, I live for Beyonce, I don't give a fuck, that's my baby. So uh, yeah, I'm about to hop in the shower, play my music and shit, I'll talk to y'all when I'm done, alright? Alright y'all, so, shower is over, shower is over, and right, that was a nice shower though, like, it really felt so good, wiping all that stuff off of me and everything. It really was, but now I really got to rush because I was in there a little bit too long and I really have to get ready to go to work soon. Like, I think I got to work in like, uh, in like a half an hour, I got to be to work and shit. So I got to hurry up. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know, that's my morning. That's my Saturday morning, you know, wake up, come from my friend's house, come over, come home. Chill, watch cartoons, eat cook. Ah, I just hit my shit in my nut. Ah, oh, I just smacked myself. Ah, shit. But um, before I go, let me just get my um, my after my post notification uh Q and A and shit, whatever. So I got a DM last week. Stop with my arms, probably myself again. I got a DM last week, and this guy um who wants to be anonymous, which is completely fine. He said that he watched our. Um, top tips for bottoms and tops videos and but basically long story short this is the question he's 19 years old he's a virgin and he said that um uh make sure i get this right um he said that a lot of older guys tries to try to date him again he's 19 and um, a lot of older i think i'm thinking like 30 plus whatever tries to date him and guys his age don't want to date him for whatever reason i don't know and he asked me, like, what should he do? Like, should he try to date the older guys? But he's worried that the older guys might just be using him because he's young. And they think that he's just, like, you know, an easy, a easy, you know, whatever. But, um, and again, he's a virgin, so he's not trying to be up with all that. And then, or should he try to give with guys his age, even though he's not having any luck? 
Um, first of all, you're 19, okay? You're extremely young. Like, you're younger than me. You're younger than me and, like, you're 19. You're fresh out of high school. You're probably, like, a senior. I mean, you're probably, like, a, a freshman in college or something like that. So, you have a long way to go, bro. Like, even if guys right now aren't, like, trying to talk to you, that's fine. Like, you know, don't why rush into a relationship, bro? Like, you're young. You're probably just in college, you know. Like, enjoy it, you know. Have fun, you know. Talk to this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Not, like, you know, like, having sex with him or whatever. But just talk to him. Explore your options. Like, don't try to settle down right now so quickly. Like, you're still learning. You're still figuring yourself out. You know, how can you really, like, pursue, like, a real 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 committed relationship with somebody when you still got to figure yourself out now i don't know you personally but you know when i was 19 <laughs> i wasn't in no really 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 serious relationship that's just you know based off of me because i know what kind of guy i was so i was like exploring my options and stuff maybe that'd be an option for you and you're a virgin too so there's no like and we know how guys are nowadays like a lot of guys do just want to have sex and a lot of guys do get in a relationship and all they want to do is have sex, 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 but you're, don't seem like you're that kind of a guy. So you really need to wait for real because that's rare. You're a 19 year old version. That's really rare. That's a good thing though. Like don't let nobody ever tell you that's a bad thing. That's a really good thing that you're, you know, that you're like that. Just wait. I mean, you waited 19 years already. There's no shame in continuing to wait until you find the right guy. Even if y'all don't work out, but at least you know you waited and you gave yourself to somebody who really do fuck with you, who really do care about you, you know? Wait for that. Um, and it doesn't matter if they're older, if they're younger, you're an adult. Like, you're not like 16, 17, 15, whatever. You're 19. You're an adult. So you could date guys that's 30. You could date guys that's 40. 50 is kind of weird in my opinion, but like 40 is kind of weird. But 30, 30, dudes in their 30s are popping, bro. Like, look at them. Dudes in their 30s are winning. 30-year-olds are like the new 20-year-olds. So it don't matter, you know? And a good thing about dating somebody er uh, older is that when they're older, they tend to be a little bit more mature and have their life together, you know, career, own house, own car. Not saying that 20-year-olds don't have that, you know? They just tend to be more established, or hopefully, you know, because they're older, they're more mature, they're more laid back, whatever. They don't really be on a lot of games that 20-year-olds are on, you know, because like I said, we still young, we still want to party and kick it, whatever. 30-year-olds, they been there, they did that. He could probably show you something. He could probably teach you something, something you ain't know. He could probably show you something that a 20-year-old, 19-year-old can't show you, you know? So, there's nothing wrong with dating somebody in their 30s. It's really not. Um, so, yeah. Just basically, long story short, find the right guy. Wait and find the right guy that's for you. Hold your virginity tight. Hold it close to your heart. Hold it close to the Lord. Because the minute you find that person that's really there for you and really cares about you, when you give it to them, it's going to be amazing. Trust me. Because there's going to be so much feeling and love involved. Sex with love, sex with feeling is way better than just sex without it. Like, just to hit it and quit it. Trust me, I've had that in love sex. I've had that hookup sex. And that in love sex, that I like you sex, that's way better than just, I want to bust a nut. So yeah, that's my opinion. That's what I think you should do. Yeah, that's it. Um, if you, if anybody has any questions for me or Mike, whatever, you can ask me anything. I'm so open with you guys. I'm so real with you guys. I'm willing to tell you guys basically whatever, for real. Oh shit, I gotta go. Um. I gotta go to work. Y'all making me miss my bread. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I love you. Every day we lit. Ah.